Oh, like ba -dum, ba -dum. Ba -dum. Ba -dum. there we go. Ba -dum, ba -dum, Let's go. Ba -dum. It's jizz. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Uh, the podcast where you'll probably go stare at a lot keep listening to it. I am Sean to my left, camera right is Jeff to my far left, right, camera, whatever. <laughs> the fuck is he trying to say? And tonight we have a guest in the house, a longtime friend we haven't seen in a hot minute. Hot. It's been a grip. Yeah. Our boy BJ Rainiac. BJ, Woo! welcome to the Gentleman's Den, sir. Thank you very much for having me on. Oh, dude. I think, uh, Thanks for coming, bro. We should actually open up and take some of this. Glad to my lady there. says. <laughs> wow. Hey. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Oh, geez. So we are, shots. we're doing turtle shots real quick. Is that, no, is that yeah. purple? That's Donnie. Oh, yeah. So our guests Absolutely. get the yeah. Donatello. Yeah. Mikey. <laughs> All right. To, uh, actually, we're going to drink to BJ's two movies, uh, The Rocket and Blame. Boy, it looks Ooh. fucking awesome. I Boy, can't wait. I just watch the limited trailer. Yeah, mm -hmm. none of you fucks can see that yet. Ooh. Oh, God, do I tasty. love it. Oh, that's so far, Sean. So help. far. Help, I need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, welcome to the pod of fucking us. God damn, we're shitheads. That's what we do. I'm yeah. actually excited to be here. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. We've been trying We've to been looking forward for to while. having you, bro. We're like I said, one of the first, when we first started this, we're like, we got to get people that we actually like that are doing <laughs> something out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all our other we just, In all like, honesty, yeah. we just watched a trailer to the new movie, Blame. It was it's awesome. Fucking, <laughs> I'm so pumped. To see and I like it because I can relate to like the character right off the bat from like, you know... You, you get those those moments of where you where you have to relate to a movie, and that's why you get so in depth and drawn in with it, because you could put yourself in their shoes and feel that moment, so you get what they're going through, you know that yeah that excitement or, or, or that that you know scary frightening feeling and edge of your seat. You're actually those the first the person who's we've shown the trailer to that related to that specific character. See, that's, yeah, and that's what I mean. That's, everyone's different. So they that, got their own way good. to look yeah. at things, their own spin, you know. Because Frankie hates social media. <laughs> <laughs> Technology's it's, the devil. It's out there. I just, it's coming whoa. for you. Ooh, Don't worry about see, that. See, that's what I mean. It hurt you. It was like, what the fuck is the devil? It's the government. The government's always The government's listening. Googling us. It's, it scares me when I say something and then no, I go on just, Google and it's right there. I'm yeah. like. That was just ESPN telling me to watch a must-see goalie fight. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come back to that. Oh, yeah, we'll have to check that out. Speaking of fights, okay, did Miles anybody, Garrett, did, did you catch that Miles Garrett trying to put Mason Rudolph's helmet back on with an overhand smash? Wow, it was he connected pretty good. It was bad. It was a bad fight. I you seen a great meme that fast. I seen a great meme. It said. I try. I'm the first player to try to take my skate off and stab <laughs> someone with it. If Miles Garrett said, "Hold my beer," hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening in sports. That's anymore. hilarious. It's just off the walls. Yeah, it, it was just a scuffle. A guy ripped his helmet off. And, oh, uh, I saw it. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, I don't yeah, understand yeah. what's happening anymore. Even yeah, yeah every, the, even if you're not into sports, I think everybody's. That? Everybody's fucking seen that shit. Yeah, and they got an opinion on it. You, oh, yeah. It's just something you just don't do. I it's thought like it hitting someone in the head with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, mean, you don't do it. It's assault, brother. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Listen, he hit him with the open part of the helmet. He was trying to put it back on. For yeah, what a nice gentleman. We should have him well, on the show. Well, yeah. Gentleman well, of the rest of the week. Well, guess what? He's not going to be doing anything for the rest of the season. <laughs> no, <so> he's, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he, he we did have a trip. It. We were talking about the gentleman of the week. Who was it? Oh shit! I forgot. Ah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we've had like five hundred gentlemen of the week that we just forget about, and by gentlemen of the week we mean complete asshole. That's <laughs> right, a right. fucking I piece of shit. Where this was really going? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did we really determine that? I thought it was supposed to be a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one ever sends anything in, so we well, was asshole of the week. I had the asshole of the week. Yeah, that's you almost every week. I or you know, close to. How How's that English you? working for you? Talk to my lady. Just saying. She yeah, she'd I'm agree. A, she Could says I'm a mensch. <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch. Mensch, she's, she's mumbling. She's a bitch. She calls me the colonel. <laughs> no, she does. Yes, yeah, oh, she God. does. <laughs> colonel Angus. <laughs> she calls me the colonel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's 
fucking official. Colonel Angus. These are lies. It's going now. Yeah. All lies. Everybody salute the Colonel this way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you might. You, yeah. Yeah, if you have anybody that's. Uh, and anybody that's sensitive, you probably don't want them to listen to this. But oh, yeah. No, yeah, this is uh, it, good. It's a free-flowing kind of atmosphere. You know, we want you to feel as you could just be yourself in this room. <laughs> just really let loose. It's let a your safe colors zone. Flow. It's a yeah. safe this zone. Is. The yeah. You got a safe that. word? We, uh, that was my next question. <laughs> <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> Catch up. There it is. See, my safe word's blueberry pancakes. Ooh. That's too long. Ooh. You might only get blue I out before <laughs> it's I'm too late. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a fucking trooper, sir. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my safe word is shot, please. Shot, please. Shot, please. <laughs> I think your safe word is the Joker laugh, to be honest with you. That was pretty good. <laughs> was it pretty good? Uh, yeah, it was We did the Joker well. review. They make fun of me sometimes because I'll laugh and it sounds like it. But well, no. It didn't. I didn't intentionally. There's points in the podcast where you hit the level of too I can't high. Help it. I can't help it. Like, too stone. Like, when, when we did the 100 milligram <laughs> edibles... <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> the hundred milligram edibles, and you're going ah 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 at the end of every laugh. I don't remember how thing? many times oh. must I tell you <laughs> how many times to- you, you become you a count. Laugh like the count. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't, I don't, I don't recognize percent. these things. So oh yeah, good this times. Is, this is so I'm fucking curious. Okay, the rocket. Oh yeah! Wow, we just we he just wants to dive I just want to jump right in because I am fascinated. I'm the We're type fast. of fucking nerd that fucking pays the extra twenty dollars for a DVD to watch the fucking special features. You know what I'm saying? You're I'm really that dude. Your your copy didn't work, so uh, <laughs> that's not <laughs> my department. Uh, <laughs> but we'll fix that anyway. We're gonna have to. So this movie, the rocket, was it? Some of these movies, it was based on a true story, obviously. Yes. So, uh, was Richard. it a was it a book? No. Because some of these are like it was a sure they like all the Stephen King something. movies, like right. Obviously, those aren't true stories. But <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, people are just totally true. Yeah, you didn't <laughs> go to that hotel. <laughs> people under the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's oh not true. <laughs> what? But people how did it stairs. how did it come about? So Richard, who uh, wrote it, directed it, produced it starred as the the cross country coach in it um he's been one of my best friends since grade school we used to make movies god in second grade actually what's really funny is our first project was a really terrible version of ninja turtles nice <laughs> so <laughs> one of my favorites i was actually Raphael. oh i was, I was oh. not my favorite mikey i was Raphael. um i got my Aspects. And just to let you and know, there great. is no bad version of Ninja Turtles. <laughs> no. Unless you're uh, Michael Bay. I will fucking... <laughs> oh, unless it's CGI. Uh, hey, side note. Did you see that Netflix Nickelodeon just did a deal? Yeah, that's going to be huge. Really? They're redoing Ninja Turtles. I heard. As a show? Because there's action? a whole YouTube channel Come on! called uh, right. Something About Turtle Zone. I'm a subscriber. Of course you <laughs> are. are. you? There's a whole YouTube channel just dedicated to the Ninja Turtles. Oh, wait till I subscribe. I suppose I should tell you guys this really like early on in this conversation that um, Easily Distracted was written on my report card. Like every report card. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Growing up. So I got that too. We will, go, the club. we will go from, hey, The Rocket to Ninja yeah. Turtles super quick because Fuck they're yeah. literally right next to each other right there. There you go. Um, so what are we talking about? Your mo- rocket. <laughs> how does it go? Like, how did, how, so how did the story come about? It's Richard's story. Mm-hmm. So he's the he guy. He literally he- got injured in eighth grade, fell off the back of a trailer, got a head injury, and told you, you're not playing any contact sports anymore. Wow. And it was, like, devastating because he's super athletic. If you know Richard, he's, like, everything is just at 10 all the time. He's go, go, go. He's a machine. And that got taken away from him. So, like, football and all these sports. Everything he wanted to play. Yes, it was just gone. Your dream. So, he gets into high school, and the the cross-country coach, who happens to be the guidance counselor, was like, hey, maybe you can run. You know, I know you're fast. I know you were good at all these other sports, but why don't you just try this one? And he shrugged it off like, that sounds dumb. Who runs? That's ridiculous. I want to play football. Right. So, he gets attracted to the sport he realizes there's you know it's actually uh something he can strive for and he can do and he took the whole team to state like he dominated in it and he's a big guy he's a he's not a runner type 
And so that's what the story is. We we Hollywooded, you know, some things well, yeah. and we jazzed oh, up yeah. some and things. But that's what a leader does is he wants to compete and yes. he found a way to compete. And he is that. He is Leonardo. Yeah, there you okay. right. He's he's got that leading <laughs> so, mentality. Um he how this all came about is he's been living in LA since two thousand I moved out there in two thousand four. He was there in two thousand three and he's still there. So I don't know how many years that is. I suck at math. I, I, I learned that <laughs> there's three, long time. There are three long types time, of people in the world: <laughs> those who are good at math and those who are not. Subtract the three from nineteen. You're at sixteen. Boom. Boom. Sorry, Did I don't anybody know. get that? Okay, yeah. I do. Oh, numbers all day. I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> I time not. is a weird thing because, yeah. like, when someone says, "Like, oh, it was 2005," I'm like, "That ain't that long ago." And then, I'm no, like, yeah, it was. Yeah. Holy fuck, it was a long time. <laughs> long time, it's general. Enough. Yeah, Real well, long well time. wait till you hit your 20 year high school reunion. So, it well, freaks you the is. fuck yeah, out. It's coming up real quick. Mom's here. coming. Through. If you just don't go to them, they never happen. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> uh, he he called me and said, "I am at this point in my career out in L.A. Mm-hmm. that I am frustrated with the system, and I just want to do it myself." I said, "Brother." you're Speaking my language. Let's do it. <laughs> so awesome. he said, I think I can come back home. I think we can make it there. I think, you know, in Salem, Wisconsin, Paddock Lake, he went to Central High School. He Ooh. told the principal his plan. They said, film everything here. That was we a perfect, you that was a perfect s- spot to shoot. We didn't get a chance to watch the movie, oh. but, like, watching the previews and stuff, like, when he's on that hill, yeah. because the field is, like, down, down in, the, like, the right. gully. Yeah. yeah, it was, like... A the perfect fucking place to right. shoot. It, it it literally was, we shot a whole race scene there. We shot training there. We went to uh, Fox River Park. Mm-hmm. We called Kenosha County and they said, yep, here's the permit, sign it, which was like nothing, and have at it. And all the big races, here's a spoiler alert, um, <laughs> all the big races were actually no, in one it. location. La, 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 la. Nice. Uh, <laughs> we, we just turned around. <laughs> so the one day we were running this way. And the other day, we were running that way, and nobody knew any, you know, you couldn't tell. Magic. Hey, there it is. Low budget magic. <laughs> you made it I right. guarantee it was edited better than the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> which we I just did a review on. Oh. It was edited horribly. <laughs> Family. You got to go back and watch it and just get the laugh. It's so, so hard. Bad. I don't know if I can. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Jeff just loves Supras, let's be honest. How dare you. Is it in there? Can you see it? It's over it's there. there. It's, it's up yeah. there. It's, it's we, hiding. We, we hit it today. It's still pretty Can you I just here? love I, I spent an hour and a half watching Terminator 2 special features today for some fucking <laughs> reason. I love movies and I love hearing like the backstories and yeah. how this shit got made and how it was developed and the special effects. I, I fucking I geek out about shit, man. Yeah, it's, you're a total nerd. It's fun to learn. Well, I ate that stuff up. Do you want to know the movie that got me into realizing I could actually make movies as a career? Fuck yeah. Forrest (laughs) Forrest Gump. Really? Really. Because back in the day, the VHS, VHS (laughs) came (laughs) out with a second cassette that was... Behind the scenes stuff. Well, Hell yeah. Side and note, kids, a VHS player oh, yeah. <laughs> was this big thing that we put movies on. And you had to rewind, rewind them. Rewind them. There was yeah. a rewind Dude, button. You want to talk about rewind? Oh, oh no. No, way. he's not. Look, look at that. Yes, blo- for, for so the it's right. like Superman for the movie. How much do you owe in late fees? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they shut down. <laughs> That's hilarious. You ever heard of the? You ever heard of the? What's crazy? You ever heard of the Mandela effect? Yes. So Forrest Gump, you're talking about it. What's the famous line about the chocolate? What's up? The the most important line of the whole movie. Right, but what is it? Know what you're gonna get. But what is it before that? Life is. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never it's know not. Going. That's not what he says in the movie. Life is not like a box no. of chocolates. No. Nope. Mama always said life was like a was. box of chocolate. Yes. It's Ooh. a Mandela effect. It's Everyone, cool. everybody says life is like a box of chocolates. That's not what he says <gasps> in the movie. I feel. <laughs> right? Your eyes have been opened. <laughs> I'm in the Matrix right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I'm starting to come out. <laughs> you just look at things differently. I'm seeing colors again. Everyone you ask, you're like, what was the Lion and Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. You're now you can be like, nope, no, you're wrong. You. Life was, was like, like a box of chocolates. Thank you for that. The Mandela effect. I feel Hollow. released. That's I, 
Like everyone, 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 has everyone, everyone remembers the movie with Sinbad as a genie, right? Oh yeah. There was never a movie with Sinbad. No, no TV show. No, what was that? No, nothing. No, <laughs> there's nothing. That's, no, there is something. I can like, fight you on this. You can find a picture of him dressed as a but genie. But there's no movie. Because everyone there was no says TV show. It's, it was it's Shazam. It wasn't that was no, Shaquille O'Neal. No, Shaquille O'Neal. No, everyone <gasps> says it's Kazam. I'm losing. Uh, yeah, mind. Kazam. A movie with Sinbad dressed as a genie. It was called Kazam. Everyone remembers this. Never happened. And it never happened. Never happened. It's the Mandela effect. It's fucked up. <laughs> you, you find the video of that movie. And I don't want to play won't. this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ruining your childhood right now. <laughs> it's, it's not. So weird. Not. I have like vivid right, so images do I. in yes. my brain. Of well, Sinbad dresses a genie. Well, let's be honest. Sinbad ain't doing shit. We can no, that's true. We should. Let's do it now. Oh, let's, let's make <laughs> this happen. It's like Casablanca. Uh, yeah. Play it again, Sam. That he never says that in the movie. Oh. It's yeah, uh, the Mandela wow. effect. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a whole rabbit, rabbit, rabbit hole. Yeah. Rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. You want to uh, grab a fresh, cold one there? Fr- oh, yeah. what do you need? A super fox? Super fox. What's this called? So here's a plug, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Only in Wisconsin. Uh, Only in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Can I read this whole? Thing? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, oh boy, I don't know if I can. Nope. <laughs> really small. I definitely can't read it. So New Paris. <laughs> New Glarus Brewery out of New Glarus, Wisconsin, just came out with this wonderful new beer that I knew nothing about. That's a fancy opener. What is that? It's a torch. <gasps> I like it. <laughs> you can do lots of different things with that on a Saturday night. Um, <laughs> oh, you can. Oh. <laughs> you did. Dear skin. You know what? It's called The Laughing Fox. Get it yourself. You can read it yourself. I'm not going to read it. Enjoy. All well, you, it's you, from, you need uh, your koozie, though. Wisconsin. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Mm-hmm. The wrong hey there. Hey. Uh, yeah, hey I'm there. just drinking Natter Days. What? So, what were we talking about? And we originally we started talking about the story of what the rocket was about. The okay. rocket, and so, then how it how it came yeah. to be the story. Because sometimes these things are based off of books. And you said the guy it was his story. His story. It's and then we story. went to the Mandela effect. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a scary. <laughs> and everyone's mind has been officially blown. It happens. Yeah, you ever hear of black magic? Never mind. We'll we'll go into that, <laughs> into that uh, another time. Super dark and weird, real <laughs> quick. That's it's a real fun game. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Um, so he called me and said it was October of 2016, I think, and he said, "I'm tired of all the shenanigans. I think I can really we can I can write this. We can make it back home. Let's do it." I'm like, "Awesome. Get me a script." He said, "I'll have it to you by Thanksgiving." That it's less than thirty days. Like he literally had, I think it was four days before Thanksgiving. He had been sitting on the story for so long that he said, "You know what? I'll hash this out in three weeks. We're good to go." And he emails me, and there's the <laughs> script. And I'm like, "How did you do this? Like <laughs> this awful. blew my mind." <laughs> yeah. And we didn't deviate from it. We just used that script. It the was script. And, yeah. Just went down the bullet points. I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is what it is, and and we just ran with it, and uh, we did a crowdfunding campaign. We raised I don't know how many thousands of dollars with that. I think it was like eleven thousand dollars with the wow. crowdfunding, and then we found from that it got the attention of some investors, and they said, you know what, we'll give you a couple extra. Here you go, and we made that movie for nothing. Did you shoot that all on digital too? We did. So we bought new cameras. We bought gear. Uh, Canon C100s was what we shot on, which mm. nowadays it's like, oh, the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, three or four years ago, it was like, oh, that's the top of the line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the next week, they were obsolete. Exactly. Technology. Uh, it's crazy. That's industry is nuts. Goes so fast. It does. They're and growing up so fast. They really right? <laughs> <laughs> My camera's <it's> all again. <laughs> so. We just said, let's do it. We'll do it ourselves. And, and the goal was learn the path to distribution because a lot of movies get made, but and they don't sit. get out. And that was the goal. And we, we figured it out. And so um, after that had happened, we just said, all right, what's next? And what's funny is Richard had, when I lived with him in, in L.A. in two thousand four to 2006. I was only there two years. That's all I could take in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> was it the air or the people? Well, <laughs> or the traffic. Dude, I'm not kidding. Have any, have any of you flown into Los Angeles? It's disgusting. There is a 
a layer that you come down in, and that's the smog just hanging out. It's awful. Wow. But yeah. regardless, it's, it's a really living. cool town. It's a really cool place. I love San Diego. I love. Do you, you ever know, surf? Everywhere but LA. I did horribly. So I, I <laughs> snowboard, skateboard, wakeboard, surfing kicked my ass. <laughs> wow. Those tides are vicious. They're just really, really. I just want to try intense. it once. I like snowboarding and you stuff. Remember but Joe Peters? On the ocean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he lived in Newport Beach. And I. Do you know Joe, too? Mm-hmm. Well, so I, I went to school with his brother. Bro, okay. There you go. Jeff. Yes. Yeah. So Joe, I'm living in Los Angeles, and Joe's like, dude, I'm down in Newport Beach. Come down here. Let's go surfing. So he gets me like the body suit, the wetsuit, and the whole thing. He gets me board. <laughs> I'm like, I got this. This is cool. I'm like out my belly. I'm doing the thing. <laughs> paddle, going paddle, out, paddle. paddling out. Just <laughs> comes up behind me. I flip around. The board goes off. I had a leash. The leash was gone. He grabs the board. He comes up. He's like, dude, you okay? I'm like, no. <laughs> I just got sand up my nose. Like, what, the, what is this sport you speak of? Anyway, so I suck at surfing. I hate um, salt water. I yeah, yeah salt like water is the worst. <laughs> I will try it on Lake Michigan. You know those crazy bastards oh, yeah. that do it in February? Yeah, yeah I Mark will do that. Yeah. Mark, <laughs> Mark, shout out to I'm Mark. I'm done the polar plunge. Like, I'll do it again. I remember the Damn first it. time I went in the, the ocean, ocean well. <laughs> I just got a bunch of water in my mouth and I was like, <laughs> 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 this fuck, what the fuck is this shit? It's so bad. It's awful. But I tell you what, it cleans your pores. <laughs> <laughs> I never had clearer skin. Wow. I didn't try <laughs> them out. <laughs> dried it, it out. Huh? Dried, out and dried out the oil. It did. There it I is. I felt great. Wow. So all, you, shower. all you pimple covered nerds go out there Damn. and hop in the fucking ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Move to California, kids. Uh, yeah. um, so, uh, Florida, California, either way. Oh, I know where you we're going with the conversation. With, wow, we really... Uh, it is so easy, easy right? So enjoy the same thing. That's what we do. <laughs> I'm just going to not get upset about it. You can't. I think I'm going to embrace just, it. Hold tonight. on to it tight. Yeah. It's going to happen. Why not? Normally, I get yelled at for doing this. Oh, fuck no. No. I think this is Let it roll. Fun. <laughs> let it roll. Let's find the gentleman's den. You can just be free. Be, let it roll. Like we said, this isn't a man cave. This, this is, is a place. gentleman's den. This is a sacred place. In this, I'm, I'm going to say I had to reword my Facebook post because it sounded <laughs> like I was going to a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the reason I, the name. I'm on the my gentleman's way to the den. gentleman's club. And I was like, my mom. I'm telling freak. you. So let's let's pull it back. Why? There, so. All right. right. A podcast in a strip club? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing on so, Saturday? Hey, Cinnamon, can you just go, <laughs> go away from him? There's glitter <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Jeff always has glitter on his face. It's just, I, and it drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's got a daughter. No, before you even had a daughter, you've always, always had glitter on your face. Always wants Always. Speck. There's specks. F- I don't know where you get it from, and it drives me I don't know, dude. Nuts. Jeff, I'm serious. Every time you just look at him, you're like, why are you, why are you, why are you shining? Jeff's Jeff's actually, actually mystical and magical. And he, are you like a fucking unicorn? He he believes glitter. Didn't yeah, didn't I tell you I watched fucking bubble magic for an hour on my phone today? (laughs) I don't even want to know what it is. uh, (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Her name bubbles. (laughs) 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 If you've ever seen the uh, outtakes of that. She oh, makes no. a brown bubble too. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! Oh. That's not what I was watching, but uh, uh, yeah, there's cool. the Kevin Smith movie. Look yeah, how magical it is! Oh my oh. god! Look at look at the princess oh. in her crown! Thank oh my you. god! Where did that? Just go? <laughs> <laughs> He's See? magical. I told you I watch magic shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, fuck! Well, it looks good on camera. All right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I tell you, I have a five-year-old, and every single day I have the same song stuck in my fucking head. Pink, fluffy unicorns oh, dancing stop. on rainbows. Pink, fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Yeah, I almost <laughs> want one. I can't stop looking right? at your head. It's so fluffy, I'm going to die. You want one? We Milady. No, 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 no. Milady. <laughs> There's another one floating. Milady. No, no, the other one. Okay. Let's just Sorry. ruin reps all day long. Wow. <laughs> You, you think you're gonna get this other movie made? You just did this podcast. <laughs> it is. Look at all beautiful. Yeah, okay. I love that thing. I want to talk about movies getting made. I have <laughs> an idea. All right. Oh so shit! He's pitching with it. He's pitching. So I went for Halloween as uh, Wolverine. Don't touch that. Atta boy. And uh, everyone's like, "Wow, Atta you boy. look just like Hugh Jackman." I'm like, oh, yeah. "I got a movie idea." Yeah. So they made you know young Logan, mm-hmm. and then they just skipped to old man Logan. Yeah. 
We want middle age. I'm thinking middle aged Logan. <laughs> I'm thinking red Corvette. <laughs> New Balance sneakers, <laughs> midlife crisis. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a tennis. <laughs> He's got the sex offender sevens on. Oh shit! <laughs> He's rocking the sex offender sevens. How funny would that be? It'd be a comedy. Just, well, just at the strip club every night, just divorced, crying. And I wish John Hughes was still alive. <laughs> We'd have him directed. My right? God, this sounds wonderful. <laughs> Just cutting lines Mid-life. at a bar as a <laughs> <laughs> Just three in a row. Yeah, barbecue three in a row. <laughs> slicer. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to go work at this barbecue. I got to pull the pork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just cutting it just up. Think with how easy his job would be, you know? <laughs> right. Fucking hands. Oh, do they do what is good for you. You know what I mean? For we you. Have, we for you. you. <laughs> that idea. You're going to get real deep. If you, you sound like you're if about you to If you love deep. your job, you never have to work a day in your life, brother. I work every fucking day. Wow, you just I'm just saying deep. you do what you love, right? Does it feel like a job to you? And you I mean, love what hard. you do. When I'm making movies, but it's it does not feel like a job. No. Right. It's yeah. your passion. That's your absolute just... You, f- you feel... Hell yeah. Like you're doing what you love. Absolutely. And that's why, like, with, with the movie The Rocket, like... His dream was taken away from him in sports, and he, you know, did what he found and loved in competing, and that's what you got to find your your love. And, and I mean, it's cool. Yeah, but he sometimes you get platform. roadblocks. Yeah, and then you right, and he built the platform to, to get his story out there and tell the world. But when do you people. stop? When do you stop like living down here? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Easy, Ed. <laughs> 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 I was a little backwards. Uh, uh, it's when do you stop living up here and start living, living down, down here? here. Yeah, but, you know. but, and I like it down here. When it's you've been down here for too long. I'm right. Saying, All I'm saying is I want to see Wolverine wearing New Balance. 200%. <laughs> like with a Ducati. <laughs> just, it's just trying to, you know what I mean? No, he's got to have a bagger. I'm just trying to think what it's it would be. Like a big old crown. Like a belt buckle. Yeah. He's got to have like a fucking... Like on the e- uh, Golden Eagle or whatever they're fucking called. Goldwing. Put him in one of those spiders. There we go. Remember I had that Wisconsin belt buckle? It's got a bottle opener on it. Yes. <laughs> I got one of those. <laughs> I, I never knew. There it is. And what's funny is my neighbor Jonathan gave it to me. There we go. <laughs> that was a Christmas present. It circles back. Not right. Right. It's it's no world. It flips forward and holds the bottle. And it oh, also opens the bottle. God, you had a legit. fancy one. Yeah. Super That's mine, fancy. Mine didn't hold my fancy. beer. Yeah. I just opened it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have a beer holster that holds a six-pack. I got it! Yeah! <laughs> Is it camo? I, I bought the black one. I, I got, got the, the camo, camo one. Yeah. All right, I got the camo. It was a white elephant. I, <laughs> st- I stole that and said, no, fight me for it. Nobody's taking this. <laughs> my family didn't like me, but it's been a good time. I uh, I used to wear it when we would... Uh, <laughs> When we would DJ, I would get six beers in it. Yeah. <laughs> never have to go up. You never have to go up there at the top. Sp- spinning records and slamming boots beers. And That's fine. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. And pants. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy crap. Hey. I think I remembered where we were going. With where were we going? So 2004 to 2006. In California. Yes. I lived in Los Angeles with Richard. We uh, There was a movie, actually, that came out called Identity. I love yes, that yes, fucking such movie. A good movie. John Cusack. Yes, fucking yes. love it. Oh, did you see that? Um, so <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about identity or road no? Trip? Uh, yeah, I'm having flashbacks. All right, so <laughs> identity was fucking awesome. Good movie. I love I that, that fucking movie, movie so much. Oh, Ray stories. Liotta, John Cusack, uh, Amanda Peet. Like there were so many good people in that. Yeah, the dude from Peanut Butter Falcon was in it. Um, I see it all revolves back. Not Shia, older dude. Um, so anyway, what I love that type of old school murder mystery, dude. I grew up on murder. She that was one of Matt the Lock, best. All that kind of. That stuff. was one of the how, best murder how, mysteries of all how time. How underrated yes. was Matlock? Just come on, Matlock. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> shits yeah. on Matlock. Everybody shits on Matlock, but Matlock was shenanigans. Fucking great. I never. Perry Mason. I love that him. stuff. <laughs> Hitchcock sure? movies, whatever. So. Basically, that movie had inspired us to... Why are you pooping on movies? <laughs> no, who shit on Matlock? What episode was that? I will cut somebody <laughs> if they shit on Matlock. <laughs> Maybe he's into it. I don't know. It's not cool. Who knows? <laughs> Matlock Mal- 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 was big into scat porn. 
Oh my god, no. <laughs> no. Andy Griffith. Stop <laughs> it. Andy Griffith, the bar. All right, you savages. Right. I want to hear what's going on in fucking California, all right? <laughs> I don't know what's happening Let right now. Let this man finish. All I know is Identity was a great fucking movie. Yes. I'm just enjoying The Laughing Fox and that IP in pool. All I know, right. is, all I know from Identity movie mm-hmm. is Whores Don't Get a Second Chance. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the best lines in the movie. Yes. yes. How messed up is it that Fuck. the kid says it right. the whole time? Oh. Spoiler alert. Yeah. yeah. If you uh, haven't seen it, uh, you should have seen it by just now. That one later, we um, might. Right? Great fucking so, movie. My God, it's so good. Anyway, it impacted me so much. Not only do I love Cusack because I actually, I studied acting for a little bit and I trained at the school that hit Jeremy Piven's parents started in, mm-hmm. in uh, not Elmhurst, what freaking town? Whatever, Illinois, the Elgin? doomed state. No, not Elgin. No, <laughs> no uh, whatever. I went with somewhere with high taxes. Somewhere over there. <laughs> somewhere with high taxes and <laughs> way expensive to live in. And legal weed at the end of the year. There it is. But I really, I just enjoyed his style. And so I started thinking, I'm like, man, murder mysteries. That, that I love that stuff. So I talked to Richard about it. We were living together and we started talking about all these ideas. And he came up with Blaine. And he wrote the script. Like we had the idea. He wrote the script. Uh, in that process, I had moved back home. I had had enough of L.A. That's a whole other <laughs> story. We made a lot much. of good friends out there. What's cool is most of them were from the Midwest. Um, and then uh, he sold the script. And he sold it for a good chunk of money, which proved our idea was really valid. Yeah. And yeah. There was this company i think they were out of colorado i don't remember exactly so who who wrote it originally richard like him and i came up with the story yeah and he actually wrote it like a he wrote the dialogue and, and he wrote the awesome. format and he he just hashed it out and he went to town and he sold it to this company and and they were all about making it and they never did so it just sat so it sat for a decade so we were filming so this was he sold it in 05 i think we were filming Oh, 05 or 06, we were filming the rocket, and as we finished, he got an email from the Writers Guild of America that said that company is, n- number one, no longer In a company, <laughs> but your 10-year option that they had purchased from you ran out. So it's yours. So he got the money and he got it back? Yeah. That is awesome. It's like a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, I mean, that, <laughs> that is the best scenario you could oh, ever ask. Right. Yeah. So he calls me. He's like, dude, I got Blaine back. I'm like, well, we're doing it. That's our next one. Let's do it. He's like, okay, we'll do it back home. You know, obviously there's no winters in California. Okay, so the whole movie is based around a snowstorm that just takes these kids who are trying to go from Chicago up to Wisconsin, like northern Wisconsin, for snowboarding for a weekend. this movie, man. No, you haven't. It's like a dark out cold. (laughs) Because we got got five inches of snow on fucking Halloween. (sighs) Kids couldn't even trick or treat. I'm so glad I went to Sunday before with my kid. Uh, we did too. It was rough. It was rough Halloween. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but it's weird. So like last year or the year before, like we, we, or no? So last year it was a green Christmas. Yeah. And we're planning to shoot. It was this 2019 February that mm-hmm. we shot the movie, and we're like, we need snow. It's January, and there's nothing. <laughs> it was warm. It was like it was shorts warm. weather. I'm like, all right, so we're going to turn it <laughs> into here, a rainstorm. Yeah. We're going to figure it out. Like California, what? they're still wearing beanies oh, yeah. when it's 70. Florida, they're freaking out. <laughs> Not well, us. Don't let your kids go to school. 40 yeah. degrees, we got shorts on still here. Still grilling out, mowing our lawn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did cut my grass 42 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not letting this come up in the spring. <laughs> Fuck okay. you. So, anyway, it was... Uh, it was a crazy experience because a week before we shot, or we were sp- like, we had actors cast from California. We had people flying in. We had a special effects artist out of um, Lake Geneva, of all places. Oh, hey. And he's Local. an Academy Award winning. Guessing he was expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you like know he was expensive, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's an Academy Award winning special effects artist. He created biodegradable snow for movies. You could be 70 what? degrees and he can make snow. Dude, nice. this stuff is awesome. And then you just hose it down when you're done. No shit. And my just, fucking mind awesome. is blue. <laughs> and dude, it's awesome. And he, he's in Lake Geneva. That's where his workshop is. Yeah. So I got wind of this guy, and I, I drive to a shop. I'm like, dude, I'm doing a movie. Need you. Need, Need some snow. You. Need some, you see it outside? <laughs> his whole thing, his name's Dieter Sturm. He's wonderful. Um, he's crazy talented with just figuring out problem solving. And he's like, dude, 
I do so much corporate stuff, commercials, car commercials, all that. I would love to do an indie film. Let's do it. And so him and his wife and his crew and they all came and helped. They taught us how to use the equipment. Like nice. it was so that's fun. Fucking awesome. That's really. That's I would so actually awesome. go work for this dude. He's aw- He's crazy eccentrically wonderful. I love him. Um, sorry, I have like a man crush on this guy. <laughs> no worries. But he's Crushed worked up, like bro. if you go in his workshop, his little workshop in Lake Geneva, he's got pictures with him and all these famous people. Be and and thanks for all that you do and all this stuff. These notes written to him because he is so talented. Anyway, so. We just but decided. he's one of those like humble guys, right? Totally, yeah. That's, that's what's cool. Awesome. About yeah. I love those never guys. Never know. This guy is so awesome. I so, wa- the other day I watched about. I don't mean to cut you off, but no, I no. watched about five hours of uh, Rick Baker. Oh yeah, my <laughs> fucking my man <laughs> behind the scenes Come shit. On. And I was like, I was just like, all right, I got. <laughs> I got to work in like two hours. I had to shut the fucking phone <laughs> off. <laughs> but I, I just, I went down the YouTube hours vortex. Of like I, He's he so was great. on Joe Rogan and he was talking about how he did the werewolf in, in London and all the, and then I just, I went on YouTube right away. Cause I, I love that fucking movie. What a talent. And then I didn't know like all the, I knew he did like Men in Black, but I didn't know he did like Hellboy and like yeah. all these his, great his fucking movies. and Resume. Like, my God. And just like like you're talking about now, behind this, I love behind the scene movies right. type shit. Like he was talking about the Grinch and they wanted to just yeah. paint Jim Carrey green. And they're like, what? No. That like, would, yeah, that would have been horrible. And he like, the thing with Hollywood is you have to like fight these people yeah. like tooth and nail. Like, no, you have to be committed to your passion. Like, no, 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 we're not just going to paint him green. No, this is why, this is why. And some guy who, you know, is he's producing the money. Right. And he's producing the shit. And he wants to put, vision. yeah, he wants to put his name on it. So, like, when the movie's being shown, he can, like, Be tell proud some, of it. some blonde bimbo, like, oh, I told him to do that. I totally oh, did right. that. <laughs> you, like that. you know what I'm green. saying? Real but it's like, Real if you, you hired this guy to do a job, I'm sure, you know, you feel the same way. You got hired to do a job in a movie. You hired me to do this job. Right. So let me do, do this job. That's the same with like Rick Baker. He's like, okay, you hired me to do the makeup. So I'm going to do the makeup. Then I show you the makeup. Well, I think it should be like this and like this and like this. So how, how does that go into effect? Like it's an how much input is into your vision of what you want to do? So it's an interesting dynamic between a director and any department and so for example on the rocket richard he wrote it he lived it he produced it so i'm sure he had a lot of input his input was everything man he knew how things went but he also brought the 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 cross-country coach that he ended up playing in the movie like richard played his inspiration yeah we brought him on to relive hey how did this actually go like he was there he's like oh well i told the kids to do this and that and richard would mimic him and it was really awesome to do so with with blame it's very different because richard said he, he looked at me and he goes this is yours like we wrote this back in the day so he gave me car blanche he's like i know you've been so excited about this you're directing this one. I'm like, okay, man. Like, this is a dream come true. I've I've wanted. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> this it's this genre that I freaking love. The murder mystery stuff. The who done it thrillers. Yeah. I love that stuff. And so when it came down to it, it was like, all right, let's have fun with this, but let's bring on people who we have to take it a level above um, the rocket because the rocket was super super indie. And this, we, we can just go a little bit above, and, and everything we do from here on out, make it just keep a it little growing. bit better, yeah. better, better. So it came down to finding these crew people, and we had this guy on the rocket. His name was uh, Steven uh, Wester, and he was our gaffer. So like he lit everything, and he was helping us do the camera work. And I asked him, I said, will you be cinematographer on Blame? Because I know you're good, and I know you got a style and, and whatever. So he goes and he finds the lens package, the same lenses that they used on The Shining. Oh, no shit. So oh, we could fuck. create this, like, really claustrophobic feel. I'm like, the original or I, the made-for-TV? No, like, the original. <laughs> I'm like, dude... <laughs> Man crush <laughs> right now. Do you remember like, the made for TV awesome. shining? Let's not talk <laughs> about the made for TV <laughs> shining. Please. All right, we'll just give over that. Let's just <laughs> yeah. leave that one alone. 
I do want to see the new Ewan McGregor during the trailer. The, it was so we can, good. We can get into Doctor. What is it called? Do- Doctor Strange. Love. Is that what, what it's called? It? No, Doctor no, Sleep. What's the sequel? Doctor Sleep. Sleep. Yes, right? yeah, yeah, we can yeah. get into that we'll later. Into that, yeah, I do want to see that. But so much. Yeah, it looks so good. Um, man, so he he started just finding all these cool things that would make the the look of the film way beyond what I could ever think of. And I'm yep. like, oh man, I, I love you. Like, bromance, <laughs> hardcore. So we couldn't find a location. It was supposed to be a sporting goods store. It was supposed to be, you know, a bar. Like, we we're trying to find all these places. And the old Wilmot Grade School, which has been abandoned no for shit, years. No shit, that's what it is. Wow. That's wow. where we found it. Oh, shit. That's so I, ca- crazy. I, I went down to the old American Girl place, mm-hmm. yeah. which was still slightly active. And I was like, God damn it. I thought they were out of there by now. And maybe we could use a portion of that place. No, we couldn't. I thought of Wilmot Mountain. No, they're too active. We almost filmed at uh, the mountaintop at Grand Geneva. Yeah. Because they, they were very open to letting us doing it. But we had to start at 10 p.m. every night when they closed, and we had to be out by a certain, like, 6 a.m. Like, yeah. our, our yeah. days, would be, it was horrible. So all of a sudden, I'm coming back from Wilmot, uh, the ski hills, and I'm frustrated, and I drive past the grade school, and there's a for sale sign out front. <laughs> and, well, like, I call this number, and I'm like, wait a minute. When did that? I never even thought about the school. Like, you, you know what happened with that, right? Oh, I do know the whole story. The story yeah, the, they broke kids broke kids in, broke in, damaged it. It was it supposed up. to be a, a mental, uh, um, uh, like a handicap kind of school, like yeah. a, a, a disability a special school. needs school. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and so I call the guy immediately. I'm like, "Hey, Frankie's on the his, list. His name's Bob. To get in, by the way, Bob is wonderful. Oh, you gonna go there? Yeah. <laughs> I, w- I would love to attend. I want to learn how to read. I totally wow. forgot yeah, I had these uh, on my head. <laughs> I'm so glad that you forgot because they're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? You know what you remind me of? You ever see any of those Lego movies? Yeah, <laughs> you're the little <laughs> unicorn man. I have kids, <laughs> man. Have I seen <laughs> it looks like? Have oh. I seen the Lego movie? You made Caleb Pop. Bastard. You made Caleb Pop, so that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the Lego movie. <laughs> First try. Dude, it's so good. I'm Batman. <laughs> Batman uh, killed it. I'm listening to the dogs <laughs> bark. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, oh, we all have ADD. <laughs> yep, tangent. Oh, holy holy shit. All the <laughs> Even the hairy ones. Look at the keys, look at the keys, Whoa. look at the keys, and we're back. All right. All right, so. Well, my grade school. Well, my grade school. So, Check I drive by, I call the number, the dude answers. I said, hey, uh, are you interested in, I know you're selling, I'm not looking to buy, but <laughs> can I rent this place for like two weeks? He's like, where are you at? I'm like, I just passed it. He goes, Go back. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. So I turn around. I go back. I'm There's waiting a in a cot in the gymnasium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a whole other story because some dude was living there. But anyway, so <laughs> oh, we... Uh, Sorry, I, you got to leave. I pull in the driveway. It's gated. And I just sit and wait. And all of a sudden, this little like van pulls up like a, a dude who's always doing maintenance on places. Kind of <laughs> yeah. Maintenance van pulls up, and this guy pops out. He's got like, a whole ring of keys. He does! <laughs> yes! And I'm like, oh, yes, I like you. That's what I mean. <laughs> so he gets out. He's like, how you doing? And like he's he's almost like Brooklyn, but he's from Chicago. And, and I shake his hand. I thought he was going to break it. Like, solid. <laughs> I'm talking. Yeah. I have never shaken a hand, shook and shaken, whatever the proper way to say it is. <laughs> A vice this dude had a how, how big was he? I'm t- he was like 5'4". That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's got little man he'll, syndrome. He'll, <laughs> with the vice he grip. I used somebody. to have an old boss, and he was oh, like 5'2", right. and he would fucking death grip your fucking hand. I'm like, bro, back the fuck up. Right? <laughs> Just saying hello. Oh, my dick. Anytime you see a little man and you go to shake his hand, Beware. he's going to fucking grab it. Yeah, it was intense. With force. So I back off. <laughs> he goes up to the gate to do the code and you know the the thing yeah. or whatever and I'm like oh I'm like just not paying attention to what I'm doing I'm watching him I'm like oh he's gonna kill me like don't so look at the code don't look at the and then you're like do you want to be in a movie <laughs> 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 you found it you are a very, very unique <laughs> character <laughs> I like creepy you. old guy with a set of keys we we actually had a hard time casting the owner of the school and I was like oh we can call Bob <laughs> anyway so. <laughs> He lets me in. We get up there. We go inside, and we start walking through this building. And I'm like, oh, my God. A freaking dead school. Like, Perfect. just this Perfect. vacant. You have so many rooms, all these hallways, a big gym. Like, so, it's like Clue. I always say blame is Clue, but not funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, the preview we watched for Blame. Yeah, I thought that it was, was a That funny was shot. That's the all Wilma Grace. Oh, no, shit. Wow. Yes. <laughs> 
It doesn't. It looks like it's some that's resort, fucking, that's beautiful crazy. area, and I they're in this. It. Uh, it's yeah. It's literally ten minutes down the road. Yeah. <laughs> so we had the polar vortex that came in. Oh, we got murdered because a week before filming, we got no, everybody's flying in. We got nothing. We're doing the table read. We got no so. We're like, oh my god, we start. Filming oh, you guys filming that negative forty shit? We went wow. out and did it <laughs> negative forty. Oh. Those cameras, oh. the the Area Alexa cameras are rated for negative fifty. We push those <laughs> to the <laughs> so hard that the camera batteries are supposed to go about 45 minutes. They were burning out at 15. Battery. We taped Battery. hot hand packs to the batteries, to and warm. it got them going to 25 minutes. I'm like, this is wonderful. <laughs> it was crazy. So we'd go out. We'd do these takes. There, there, Richard says this all the time. There's, there's a difference between an actor pretending to be cold and being cold <laughs> and these people having breath come out their nose and stuff like you see it and, right. and you can't fake that and they're right. just the, the shakes are there <laughs> how, many, how many of those kids were from California all of them oh, so, oh yes, yes. <laughs> let me rephrase that let me rephrase that good lord I wish I was from there. Illinois and he still lives here his, uh, he so he's hard Logan. as fuck yeah. he's yeah. awesome uh, Roberto is wonderful the other ones some of them are from here or married people from here, so they're used to it a little, but they all moved to California except Roberto. Roberto still lives here. Lainey, who plays Andy in the movie, she's the one who, spoiler alert, if you see the trailer, she don't make it. Um, (laughs) (laughs) She has never been to Wisconsin or Illinois. I I will never come back. I think her boyfriend's from Indiana, and she experienced it for a blip for a second, (laughs) but she showed up for the polar she's from LA <laughs> for the polar vortex negative 40 and we got to have her laying on the ground we got to have her all this, uh. oh that poor girl i felt <laughs> horrible but we said every day we were like listen if it's too much if it's too hard that's okay let's reschedule we'll figure it out cuz we shot this thing in 2 weeks wow no, no, the normally, whole movie yeah normally movies take like 3 months Wow. So we did. You guys shot like you were freezing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Why, why does the camera look like it's shaking? Why is yeah, that done. Like, everything's in hell. I think uh, the hardest we do part another, of being cold, though. Should we do another set? No, no, no. We got it. We got it. We got Cut. It. Moving on. Uh, so you're playing someone who is deceased, and you're fucking freezing. You're shaking. How do you not show her? So, so I could tell you details about that specific scene. <laughs> trying to think of any of this whatever no you see in the trailer yeah when it's released online you will see that a certain character dies she's on the floor and she's inside but we're in a basement in the school there's like barely any heat right in the school yeah. anyway so negative 40 outside we're we're looking at oh it's a it's a balmy 32 degrees inside maybe yeah she's laying on the floor and she's just shivering we're like okay this isn't gonna work <laughs> so we put a blanket over. we can't move her because we got all this blood under her yeah. head and we can't for continuity you can't let her get up so we're putting space we put a blanket over her in between takes and just put space heaters and just we're blasting heat underneath and she's like okay cool cool." (laughs) and we're like all right roll camera whip the blankets off shut off the heaters because the sound is messing with the sound guy and all of a sudden she's just like good for about 30 seconds and then like involuntarily her hand like she just starts shaking we're like all right cut it's gonna yeah, cover it's gonna it again. So high. It's <laughs> she was such a trooper. Like it was so crazy so, to watch. These so people. it was two weeks of shop, but it takes it took six days just to shoot that one. Scene. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> we we could have really, if it was warmer, we could one week, four days. Wrap no. it up. Uh, if you're good at what you do, you can do it in a week. So <laughs> or two weeks. So I have a question. Uh, when are we gonna remake Fever Lake? <laughs> you, can't, you can't remake Fever Lake. My sister worked at the Grand Geneva when they were filming that movie. No way. I'm going to tell you a story desk. right now. That they were filming at the old police station <laughs> in Twin Lakes. Mario Lopez yeah. rode my dino VFR. Yeah! <laughs> no. <laughs> Swear to fucking God. Yeah. Mario Lopez. They were shooting down there. <laughs> what? <laughs> said, uh, no. <laughs> if you don't know Fever it. Lake, you need to go watch Fever yeah, Lake. Classic. It was, Corey it was filmed like in my, my hometown of Twin Lakes. I've got two stories about Whoa. Fever Lake. Oh, this is getting real. Mario Lopez rode my One's about car. Mario Lopez, too. Okay. So my mom is sitting at Manny's getting breakfast. Yeah, they filmed so at Manny's. Good. 
And Mario Lopez is hitting on these girls that are legitimately 15 and 16 years old. Oh, Mario. And my mom <laughs> leans ba- my mom my mom leans back and goes, "Hey, uh, I know you're Mario Lopez and all, but those girls are 15 and I know their mothers." Yeah, homeboy paid his check and got the fuck out of there. I real quick, oh, real man. Quick. Hey, I tell you what though, these Midwestern towns, you 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 grow them yeah, differently. Okay. Something in the yeah. water. Somebody's gonna get in trouble. Mario Lopez was a fucking magician on my bicycle. I'm not gonna lie. Ace really? Of Slater, bro. He fucking handled it. Really? Maybe it was just he a did really some nice tricks. Bike. He didn't just ride it. He I did like some this. tricks. And my second story oh, is about Corey Haim. Yeah. I worked at the grocery R. store R. in P. town. Rest in peace, Corey Haim. Corey Haim comes in with his little brother and the blonde-headed actress yeah. that was in the movie. Yeah. I have no idea what her name was. They went to the liquor department. It literally just filled up a cart. <gasps> that's that's the cast of party. That's Halloween. Or it, Halloween. No, Hollywood. But no beer. <laughs> there was no beer. Oh. It was just all bottles of liquor. And this, the blonde girl's like, I can't wait to get wasted. This is, what, 92, 93, 94, yeah. or something like that. Corey Haim grabs the microphone. He's like, oh, what up, what up? Corey Haim in the house. No, Corey. <laughs> grocery at the store. grocery store. <laughs> Hammered. That's awesome. And, he, and, his, and the, at the grocery store, they used to have, like, every grocery store has the shitty movie racks that yeah. had, like, the yeah, four ninety nine. Yeah. And his brother's looking through it, and Corey Haim's like, why ain't none of my movies out here? <laughs> I go, oh, bro, those all sold out, man. Everybody knew you were coming into town. Yeah. Man, they're trying to get their autograph. Dude, I got the Lost Boys on Blu-ray. Dude. No, you kidding me? No, this, this was the wreck where it wasn't Lost Boys. It was like License to Drive. Yeah. <laughs> it was the, the off movies. Uh, it, it was Blown Away and not the good Blown Away, the shitty Blown Away with Corey Haim and, and the chick that was on Baywatch before uh, the, she got the titties. The other one, the other one isn't too good either. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> You got Tommy Lee Jones trying to do an Irish accent. <laughs> yeah, but it was better. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Remember Blown Away? Je- oh Who was the Jeff other guy? Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Wow. His dad's in the movie. His dad gets blown up in the movie. He gets blown away. Yeah, he gets blown, blown away. Spoiler alert. Away. Oh, sorry. We're ruining movies. Yeah, that was little... yeah we are. That's well, okay. Just put a disclaimer you at the beginning. I have, these, a, though, I have I mean... a fun story about that. So you want to talk about alcoholics? Wow. All right. Here All we right. Go. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Let's have Not particularly, beer. but let's do I it. I went to my uncle's house in Chicago. We go to Benny's Beverage I Depot. Know. Benny's okay. greatest place on <laughs> fucking planet Earth, right. sir. So there's nothing, there's nothing else there but liquor. He grabs a cart. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need a cart for? <laughs> well, when you're buying handles. It's fucking no, alcohol. Everything. <laughs> boom. Boom. So he grabbed the cart. At a liquor store. Oh yeah, we perused. Every and that aisle cart was fucking full. Did you go down every aisle? Not every aisle. You stay away Skip from the, the wine. wine. <laughs> we went to the good stuff. Because <laughs> Uncle Rich, he's balling, oh, so yeah, he gets he the is. good shit. Oh, Speaking Let's of, put this in the cart. Let's put that in the cart. I want to do a uh, podcast where we got uh, drink the ninety nine PBRs. Dude, the ninety nine have you cans seen of that? beer in the wall? Yeah. Well, people don't know. Let's let's. There's PBR <laughs> came out with a a case a oh. case of beer that is ninety nine beers. Stop it. Ninety nine beer it? case. No, hold on. Oh it, yeah, it is. <laughs> I haven't. It's even. impressive. <laughs> really, it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. It's a case of beer that would go across this whole back wall. It, it, you would do you need remember to, the beer pyramid in the Dells? I know we were Oh, I do. There was like what was it? Key. Um, it was everything. No, the, it was the ten dollar thirty packs. What were they? High Stones? life lights. Oh. High life light. You wonder why you're walking around with diarrhea all day. Well, it was so ten dollars for. I literally pack. just put into Google ninety nine. The PBR. first <laughs> thing that comes it's up listen, is pack of PBR. What I'm saying. So Here's the shit ready? out of me. You ready? ready? Not even. What is it? Ninety nine. No way. <laughs> That's a, it's a hundred and seventy five bucks. I've already looked at it. Is that how much it is? Hundred seventy five bucks. It's about two bucks a beer. It's That's actually high for PBR. It's nah. it's you're paying for the family pack. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm just wondering if they put in the Channel 16 ounce cans. <laughs> or wow. The 12s. Oh, that's awesome. If they had the 99 in you know the 16 ounce have? cans, they might it's have a different story. that, that coffee. You're looking for that coffee. Hey, brew. Coffee is not in Wisconsin. It's it's in Georgia. It's in Michigan. It's in. Uh, well, hit up Jeff wait, Bezos. I'm sure, on. Amazon's P- got it. No, I already looked. PBR has a coffee PBR. I've done Google. Why would it. you not do it? Aren't they? Wisconsin, Wisconsin based. Yes, a hundred percent. 
That is all we live Odd. off of is coffee and it beer. beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why would you put not it mix the two? I mean, well, they don't want put to it sell out. Because they're just like, you know what? Yeah, if we give these guys coffee and beer, then they're going to be up all night, all day. That's what they want. All night, all day. <laughs> Doing it real big like Joe Kim Noah. <laughs> 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 we don't know. Joe Kim, I mean. When he got drafted. Yeah. Just letting you guys know. Oh, my God. Uh, I was going to say the boozer yeah. line. I remember, I remember getting what, fucking shit bag wasted with Sean. And he's like, let's get breakfast. We can go into this place before it even opens. So we walk into fucking Manny's. It's me, Sean, and fucking four cops. Yeah, I've been there with you guys. At fucking four in the morning. Dude, he's not uh, even I'm, open yet, and he's starting to make breakfast for all the cops. And, and I'm paranoid we just, as fuck. We just I wonder in why. Like, can I just segue <laughs> as to why Twin Lakes is fantastic? Because I can eat with the cops. <laughs> that story is wonderful, by the way. I <laughs> didn't know you could sneak into man. No, 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 no. You knock on the door and he'll wake up. Yeah. No, he's up at he's up he's at an early, early bird, bird, yeah. man. Yeah. I love Manny's. Yeah. So he's got to make it an hour past bar. Those though. cops used to take my skateboards. They used to. Yep. I mean, Santelli. That dude. Oh god, has he so it. many of my skateboards. <laughs> mm. That's a fake got, name. That's not a real cop. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting sued this week. <laughs> yes. Scarpoli. Oh. So we'll edit that yes. out. Yes. I have a Super whole. Cole. Yes. No. Serpico. 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 See, so, you were always. I I remember it because we went to high school together. Yeah, yeah, bro. You you were always one of those cool nerds you were like in the comic books in the movies but you were like a badass fucking skateboarder i wasn't that good i just like to well, for the area. area yeah uh, i remember you were like you were fucking doing a handstand on your skateboard and then you do like a kick flip and land on it and i was like what the Holy fuck did he just do in awe i no, couldn't I even make it on the ramp you, you, you were there the first time you were there at the twin good. lake skate park the first time i ever went down a half pipe yeah, everyone's boy. going on the half pipe i'm like this looks easy this. Flap. Yeah. oh yeah i put too much weight on my back foot <laughs> right out on your fucking my ass. My tailbone fucking hurt. <laughs> I did the same thing, but I fucked my wrist oh up when I came down. I so got mad. up. I, I got up and so walked with hey, Kyle. Hey, what the fuck? foul, bro. Yeah. Oh. Just a little bit too, yeah. okay. too much coke. <laughs> so let me. Let a me, cola. Twin links. It came full circle because we had to shoot blame, and I needed cops, mm -hmm. and I needed fire department, ambulance, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Kenosha they got nothing <laughs> oh, was just not cool about it, surprisingly. Well, they're busy, Beth, bro. We used to work at Wilmer right. Mountain. Dave Beth was the, yeah. was the sheriff, whatever, but he, he was very connected with doing security there. And we tried to get in touch with him. He's a hard person to get in touch with, and it just didn't work out. But all of a sudden, I'm like, you know what? Let's go small town. Let's reach out to Twin Lakes, see if they're interested. And we they had, ain't got shit to do. Nothing no. to do. Dude, they had, they're like, maybe we can get a couple squads. Let us know the date and time. Keep us posted. I'm like, okay, cool. Because they're yeah, underage drinking parties. We got to break up. <laughs> and there's this weird internal thing where it's like, man, you guys used to bust my parties. You used mm -hmm. to take my skateboards. <laughs> like, this is weird. And all of a sudden. <laughs> it came full circle. It did. Yeah. So I, I got in touch with the captain. And he's like, two days before filming, I'm like, we, we're trying to confirm with them. And we're starting to panic. And they're like, and this is the last day of shooting. And they're like, yep, we'll be there. Sounds good. Let us know a time. All of a sudden, it wasn't two squads. It wasn't three squads. We had four squads. We had an ambulance. We had all the stuff. A fireman shows up. He's driving the ambulance. He's got the suit. He's got an extra suit. We threw an extra actor in to another suit. We had two firemen. We all this stuff showed up. It, <laughs> Wilmot High School started freaking out because they thought something seriously was going, going down at the grade school. school. They're like, "Oh my god, they've got like an ambulance. They've somebody died. There's a because we needed like the body bag thing pulled yeah. out and like, oh well, yeah, they brought it. So it was <laughs> that's that awesome. was so cool. So what you're so saying fun. is the credits go on for like 45 minutes Dude, after the movie. So <laughs> many people that helped out. <laughs> you want to talk about a community coming together to just make a movie? That's awesome. We d it happened the first time on the rocket. It happened even more so at Blame because, like, Wilmot High School provided tons of props. Like, 
bow and arrows and all this kind of stuff. That's a whole other story. Part. Yeah, if you ever need the cops to show up again, so cool. Just let me know. I'll get you a SWAT team there and shit. I'll, right. Yeah, just, but, that, but that's just because you're gonna call and be like, I got a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I said I got the bomb ass. We. Uh, <laughs> oh. All you gotta do is say there's a cat in a tree. The, the everyone will show fire up. department shows up. <laughs> That is super indie filmmaking. I like that. That's good. I'm going to use that next time. So, you don't want to cooperate? I'll make my, you cooperate. My, my other uncle is such a cheapskate. <laughs> one baller, one cheapskate. He right. fucking had a heart attack. And he was pissed off because they called 911. He was going to drive himself to the... No, he wanted them... If you call the fire department, it's cheaper for the ambulance oh to come God. to your house. Then yeah. 911. So he was literally having a heart attack, and he was upset that someone <laughs> called 911 to come yeah, to get don't, him. Don't call 911. You, you call don't the, someone who's having you, a heart attack. You get on that out. phone, and you fucking call the fire department. It's cheaper, motherfucker. Not an emergency. Not an emergency. I need a... Ambulance, but it's not an emergency. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah a, I might be having a minor a, heart attack. There's a cat in the tree over here having right. a heart attack, and you guys like uh, bring an ambulance and shit. <laughs> so we're coming to the end here, boys. <laughs> oh yeah, we just we, we just out. we just clapped an oh, hour. We, I don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah, Let's go longer. <laughs> right. I want to talk about rolling. turtles and shit. Well, hey, we we can always do another podcast. We gotta keep it at an hour just because people are. No, we don't. Oh, you want to go? I think we set the rules. I want to go, bro. We make our own fucking rules. All right, fuck it. We're keeping it rolling. So I actually have a story about BJ. Uh Oh, Oh, okay. BJ, do you remember a a lock-in at a church? Bro. (laughs) Lock-in. Where I almost got my ass beat? Yeah. Yeah. I was there. Were you one of the people trying to beat me? No, I wasn't. Thank God. Because I was with one of the guys. I, I, I was with one of the guys that was trying. I was like, "Dude, why are you freaking the fuck out?" Man, I will God, not. P- pussy fucking ruins lives, man. I will. Oh <laughs> That's the truth. Oh, just, this just came out like dark. So <laughs> I won't say names, but man, I was gonna die. These guys would have killed me. So here's what's up. And I explain the fucking story. They're like, like, come in the bathroom and let's talk. And I'm like, nope, I'm out. It was a lock in at a church, man. I've come every time I drive by that church. I think of the story. PTSD from the church. (laughs) I almost died. I'll never go praise and worship there. I'll tell you that. So I'm going to tell you something right now about that church, too. After that, I get a fucking phone call at (laughs) nine in the goddamn morning from whoever was running lock in. Hey, uh, did any of you see anybody take the Nintendo 64 games? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who took Goldeneye? I picked up the yes. phone and I'm literally fucking exhausted. And I'm like, I didn't take the fucking games. Don't oh. ever call my house again. This, this might sound like a stupid question because I got a lot of those. Yeah, well, yeah. What the fuck's a locking? All right, so it's when they take little kids, yeah, it sounds horrible. It sounds bad yeah. when you start. A like church that. takes it, little kids. They <laughs> stay there all. <laughs> they, night. they lock them in, and they have like oh. pizzas and. Candy Movies and sodas. And there's yeah, like a little rock in. And but it's boys and girls. I mean, it's uh, all. <laughs> yeah, but but they. You already heard my story about the fucking priest, bro. <laughs> they, I know, were you going to sleep the night with them? Or they, what? They, Fuck they, they sneak in little bits of the religion. They're like, oh, in between see. what? Yeah. Well, no. Conversation. They, and, they, and they try to do. Like, they get you all in there and, hey, let's have a prayer before we go and have fun. It's like when we pl- used to play basketball. The basketball, church, church basketball. And then halftime no, was a fucking, you very know. True. Yeah. I, I, I do still like go to church. Thing. But that was you the first know, time occasions and stuff. And, and no, I've you don't it. still go to church. You go to church on, like, holidays. That's what I just oh, said. Oh, On certain occasions. Priester. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I, I, I went and made my, my <laughs> communion and confirmation. He's a, hey, I haven't been to church in a long-ass fucking time. I've never Look at this ash on my forehead. Ash on my forehead. Do I still got it? <laughs> I'm just saying, if a priest is gonna forgive me of my sins and everything, he's well, not. I, all he I'm don't saying, give a fuck. Can, can I, can I, I do did all that? Yeah, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I don't want to cut you off. I was just gonna say, I just never had a sleepover at a church with a bunch of older men. Oh, yo. Oh, no, there wasn't. Uh, a bunch no, of it wasn't there. like that. That's real super creepy. Yeah, there, there was. This thing got kissed on the mouth. I never had to kiss my uh, priest on the bro, fucking mouth either. That was. You uh, hear that story? I missed that. Podcast. I told this on the podcast. Which episode is that? I'd like to listen. Oh, to. two. Uh, okay. <laughs> it, it was, it was I'll tell it there. again quick. But when I Short they version. used to have CCD. Like in grade oh, yeah. school, yeah, you would yeah, go I'd to the church for that stuff. Yeah. So I went to no Saint Saint John's in Twin Lakes. Oh boy! And you would do your 
your fucking learning and all this shit. And they didn't like me because I used to ask questions, you know. Why is Jesus white? He grew up in Egypt. He was born in Egypt. He he's, shouldn't be that color. And they're like, he's shut the white. fuck up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he's not white. I used to ask questions all the fucking time. Good they didn't like me. Anyway, Proud of you. Anyway, at the, at, the, hair of wool. at the end of the CCD class, they used to line us all up. Is there a... Is that the, <laughs> the devil just showed it? <laughs> no, Kayla went. Hi, Satan. Kayla went. Uh, Milady went inside and started her vibrator. Five hours full start. It's gas powered. <laughs> oh my you God, see why Jeff is so face. jealous? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we went to CCD, and then after the class, everyone would line up and they would kiss the fucking priests on the lips. And so I Jeff w- went home and told. I went mom. home. And I said, uh, this is what they're doing there, <laughs> and I don't like it. So I my mom agree. my mom went there that day, and she's like, my son is not doing this shit anymore. She will, um, he will shake his hand, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad that I did this that because. Oh, he got arrested for child molestation. He oh, did. Okay. Not me, bro. No, I'm just saying. Didn't get me, bro. I never had to sleep at a church. I didn't know what that shit was. That's why I was trying to oh, set no, the okay. scene. I didn't fair, know. Fair, fair. No, it was, it was a lock-in. Sleep okay. is what they were called. And it just Actually, sounds even worse. Slept. But this it is a PSA all right. to all no, the kids out up. there. If you feel uncomfortable with something, tell somebody. Say yep. something. Hey. This is what happens with Speak people. Up. They don't fucking. Something happens to them. They don't say nothing. See, as soon as that fucking happened, I went fucking home. We speak real truth. And I fucking said something. Learning channel. Look what happened. Yeah. Everyone after that shook his fucking hand. Oh, it started slowly. Man. I started you wave it. Starting so of so I fucking right went like there you. and I shook his hand and they're like, why am I kissing this guy on the lips? And he's shaking his hand. Right. <laughs> Pretty soon That's all the kids awkward. started shaking his hand. The one kid at the end was like, he always slips me the tongue. Right. Uh, just a little bit. Just uh, a, uh, no, 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 I have kids, and I that's the only thing. Tom's I will never... Up. You lie. I would go to jail. You lie, mm. you're going to get punished. Okay? Mm-hmm. Just Speaking tell the me truth, the fucking truth. You you're going to get, get punished, too, but guess what? Yeah. It ain't going to be as bad. Let's right. get the honesty out. When they get in high yeah. school, you know, I know what's going to happen on prom night. You're going to drink. Oh, God. Okay? You're going to get fucked up. Let's let's stop Pop, it right there. Pops is buying the rubbers. I am gonna be the house where it happens. All I'm gonna say, all I'm kids, gonna say keys. is keys. Put your keys in the fucking basket. Whenever Bella starts getting gentleman callers, oh, God. I'm cleaning guns Dare over you. at the house. Right. It's, you know what was you empowering? You know what was empowering? Walking around today with ten grand in my pocket and a gun. I don't know why. I felt gangster as fuck. I'm just saying, it is empowering. Well, you gonna tell the fucking story? Why yeah, you, you had ten grand? Really I got a down payment. On, oh, on a you, home. Had, you finally got had, paid. Yeah, so I got, I had the money, and of course, I'm not gonna walk around with that kind of money without a gun and stuff. But it, I mean, I didn't I like do anything, him. but more Naturally. go to. I'm just saying, I, I went from there to my house and this and that. But walking around, you feel just powerful. You like feel, I felt like gangster. You By know the what way, I mean? Like, if you is. do want to put him in the movie in his writer, he has to always wear sunglasses. That's fair. Yeah. Did you he's, feel? He's, I did love you it. feel like right? Rick Ross, the boss? A real one, not the fake one. I really did. I felt like as if I, I, I felt honestly like I was doing something wrong. Do you for know a that second. story? Can we get into that? Well, that Rick Ross, Ross Rick Ross, Rick Ross was a uh, sec- or a uh, prison guard. Prison guard. Yeah, he lives. His, he's living his dream, bro. So, oh, live your dream, bro. Go for it. Don't Wait, you know what I mean? Take even chances. if it's not your dream, it's someone else's dream. Just live it. You miss a hundred percent of the shots. <laughs> you, you don't, don't take. take. Oh, take. easy, Wayne Gretzky. Is. is that who said that? Hello. Yeah, Wayne Gretzky missed a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Jordan said it too. Hmm? Yeah, Jordan said it too. Qual- I'm not sure well, who originated it. It was it very first. similar to that time frame. Right the, around the, the that 90s. Ever to do it, said it. Right around that 90s nostalgia. It's going to be okay. BJ Armstrong was the best player. Well, I got Ooh, the same birthday as Jordan, name. bro. He might have been the, the best name. free throw shooter of all time. It's all That's about, about it. Yeah. yeah, that was his jam. <laughs> <laughs> Three points all day. Hey, hey let's be it. honest. Pippen was awesome. Shout out to the... Uh, Melatonally challenged point guards the bear, the Bulls had, aka hey. John Pax and Steve Kerr. Hey, hey, Kerr, man, Kerr is I would give that guy a hug. All, all right, day, since right? we got since we got the movie guy, on we're right going now. there. Here we go. Oh. I mean, I don't want to get into spoilers because we already did the spoiler. Okay, but as a person who films and edits movies, sure. How'd you feel about the Joker? I want your opinion. Okay, so um, I had a long conversation with multiple people on this 
initially leaving the theater, I felt dirty. I felt <laughs> dark. That's exactly how I, I felt, felt, dude. Like just off. I don't really know how to explain it. And how many then, times did you did you watch it so just once? I or? haven't seen it a second time. Yeah. And I really want to because I I feel like I in my head it. I know I what was it real, I know time. it was not. I I listened to your guys' um, conversation about this. I don't think he went back and killed the girl. No, Spoiler alert, it's been confirmed. The it's girl been confirmed. because okay. he did yeah. not. Because honestly, like him. she never wronged him. She right. was always very well. That's nice. why and it was confirmed. only yeah. the people that it, hurt. It him. really was. Yes, and even the cops and all that stuff. Like it just went down this dark path. I will say one thing. I, I know you guys kind of dug this. I felt oppositely about it. Um, is that a word? Anyway, yes. Yeah. Um, we make up our own words. So, all words yeah, are made up. That's fair. All of them I are. I don't they like, are. because I'm a comic nerd, mm -hmm. I don't like how Thomas Wayne was portrayed. Only I, because. I, did, I know you guys yeah, did, yeah. and that's fair. Uh, super rich, politician even. like yeah. That's not Dickish. what, what yeah. he really was kind of in the comics. Like He was a, a freaking oh. hero. Like, right, he was savior always, of the city. He was Bruce's example of what men should be to become what Bruce became. Right. But, but go on the side note on that, it's... That's what he was. Per if you watch, watch the movie, in the public eye, that's what he was. Sure. Oh, totally. The savior of the city. But, uh, right. But, but and, and every and politician's got that CD. And real true, side. True. true. My dad is the nicest guy in the world. He's a dick as well. <laughs> Everyone has that <laughs> side is. to him. You that's know what fair. I mean? But I will say, lay on the couch for a little. If bit? I was, no. so let's say, <laughs> I, I try to put myself in people's shoes, and 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 this is like something I've learned from acting, and and it's an empathetic thing, and mm -hmm. and you just kind of. It's a good thing to learn in life, but I started thinking about if I was Thomas Wayne, and I was like, if this dude approached me at in a bathroom you do yeah. about thing. being your kid, I would probably be a dick. <coughs> right. Yeah. That I was love so the story, hard. though. It was well written. Todd Phillips yes. nailed the directing. Joaquin Phoenix is my dude for acting. Like. I've loved 100%. him for so many. Dude, the guy played Superboy. Like he's <laughs> gone from the the hero to the villain. I mean, yeah. he, his his character arc and acting. I love the is so crazy. The the signs was one of my favorites dude, with him. So the way they decided to beat so aliens' simple. asses. Yeah. He's the way so they cool. shot it. Uh, Swing away. The, uh, talking uh, about the Joker. The way they shot it. Like even the music. The yes. awkwardness. Yep. It was. It was. You I mean, how do you feel about more like the uncomfortable in any movie than in the like yes. this movie just and everyone it. says that, but did you feel so uncomfortable because you related that it is so deep in the world that we live in? How many people deal with stuff like yeah. that, and that's why you hear about all these horrible things happening. But it, it does show that our world is it's it's a cruel world. You have it a society is. where you fit in with peers and people that that treat you well. But there's so many things and so many people that we deal with on a daily basis, whether it's a boss or a, a, you know, a neighbor or someone who's... Kids in school are the worst. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, just oh, someone that dude. puts you Horrible. down and, and, and hurts you in a way that you don't deserve. And it just shows the person that could not take it anymore. Yeah. And it happens And I love time. that, that he fought back. I mean, unfortunately, you know, we live in the land of school shootings and all that shit. Yeah. But you know what? Especially now, cyberbullying, you can't it's get so away bad. from it. That's right. the thing, man. You used to talk shit to people and you get Go punched ahead. in the face for it. Right, right. Now. right now, it's you hide behind a computer and you say anything <laughs> you want. And you, That's why I hate social but media. But the people who, and I get it. Yeah. On that level, I totally understand. Because yeah. Frankie's bullied all the time by us. He no, just, I was the guy in high school when I saw clobbered. someone get booked. Yeah. I went and booked that guy for booking them. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, real fucking funny. See, I only booked my friends. That's what I'm saying, but I was you friends know, with every a dick. I was friends <laughs> with, with, you know, got you nerdy a times people. Times <laughs> Everybody got booked. We just did. Was yeah. It was fine. But, and I but knew when I was you did it to back. people you right. didn't know, you knew you crossed the line. Yeah. And you got to right. dial that back. But see, oh. I would still do that to the people that did it. To, like I said, I, I was friends with, with people that were in you know Everybody. golf. Like everyone's like, oh, sure. those guys fucking do golf. They were cool as fuck. You know what I mean? They were no different than hanging out with the guys that played football and basketball or, you know what I mean? Or, or kids that were smarter that were going to go to a school on like, right. you know, like academic scholarships and stuff like that. We know it's so cool to hang out with. And what the, the crazy thing about the school I went to and these guys went to was 
there wasn't really a, you know, these are the jocks, these are the no, nerds. Yeah, everything very, by me. Very blended. Yeah, yeah 100%. 100%. I never and it was like had everybody, a yeah, everybody partied with everybody. Yeah. Like it wasn't like the stoners. The if you guys didn't know, this, though, like I wasn't the, that great. The in stoners school. were jocks. You were? The stoners <laughs> were the fucking. <laughs> really? Surprising. That's where I got most of my sleep in. So you I want to start all, doing right? those ad reads? I will tell I you. I'll have to try and learn the read. I will tell you the greatest. Uh, God, I uh, know. Come on. One of the greatest moments in my life. I still remember this. I was, I was kind of, I was friends with this kid in high school, and he wasn't a very popular kid. And you know how people sign your yearbook at the end, right? He is the only signature I remember to this day because he wrote in my yearbook, "Thanks for being my friend." I get That's emotional cool. thinking about That's it. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's fucking cool, right? I, I, like I was cool with everybody. Like, why be a fucking like? I'll hang out with the the jacks and right. I did sports and I hung out with the stoners and I hung out with the skaters and the different fucking right. groups. Yeah, you know, I hung out this fucking clown and yeah, we used to meet saying. at the skate park and skate and then I'd and go to fucking the stoners house down the street with. and this. I hated that house, when you hung out with certain people and then like, be a good you talk to someone else. God damn, let's not get it. I'm gonna We're get gonna stop. I'm getting a dark place right now. Here we go. You need to show this, Sean. Not turn your light back on. You're good. Yeah, go back to unicorn status. Oh. oh, now you're flashing. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let, let's go solid Let's go solid light here. Pants and pants. There we go. Oh. No, uh, I just really try to be You find the good, good in everybody. Person. I yeah. really do. Good. And it, it might fuck me in the end. Right. You know, you I, know might you I might try someone, someone that's that's In the end, like, you will be proud of who you are. Right. You yeah. Don't let that ever sway you from being And if you can be happy with yourself, yeah, you that's gotta, all that matters. you got to be happy with yourself first before you can make someone else happy. Ladies and gentlemen, honest. this got deep quick. Always. I always it did. It's, 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 it's a you know what I taught my channel. daughter? You know what my daughter says all the time? I do I know. love you. I love mommy. But you know who I love more? Myself. And that's and what's I important. And I taught her that. Because she ain't going to be a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And on that note, <laughs> BJ. <laughs> BJ, anything you want to plug, bud? You're, yeah, I, where can they, where can people like follow like you and check out your five minute credit oh, of all the uh, thank yous? All right, you're on um, Facebook. The Are Rocket. You on? Yeah, oh yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all this stuff. Uh, TheRocketMovie.com. That's where you can learn about updates on the Rocket. If you go to WhoCanYouBlame.com, that is uh, the home base for everything blame related. Uh, we do have awesome. Facebook when's the trailer? When's the official so, trailer man, dropping? This, this world of we got independent a film is crazy, <laughs> and so you guys saw the trailer, and and everybody on the you know the land of the interwebs. I'm sorry you can't see it yet because in the game of distribution, if we release it, it hurts our chances of the people oh. who big people who might want to release it. So Lionsgate's yeah. interested right now, and uh, oh, no we shit. have all, there's like a list of all these companies the that saw the trailer and, the and they're excited. Awesome. Dude. But how many awesome. times have you seen a trailer and the movie's like, meh. So they want proof of concept. So we yeah. really have to finish this thing. We got to get it to them and that will change everything. But my plan for next year is to just film festival like crazy because there's nice. so many for the thriller genre yeah, and all yeah. that kind yeah. of stuff. Um, and then from there, if anyone wants to bite and they want to pick it up, awesome. If not, we're going straight to Amazon, and I'm going to push international release as much. Amazon as Prime is can. where it's at. Fuck yeah. I'm telling you. Hell yeah, bud. Uh, this is a uh, this has been awesome, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, in all long. in all honesty, we're gonna do another one after this. We've yeah, all got to take a piss. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna do another <laughs> movie a true review. story. Didn't right see there. all the, the the we got merch over here. I'm I'm rocking mine. The rocket bracelets. Yeah, can you <laughs> get these? The Where blade. can you get those? Can uh, you get those on the website? No, actually, we just brought them for the premiere. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. special, exclusive. special edition, exclusive stuff right here. T tune into the gentleman's den, gentleman's den, and maybe we'll have some to give away in the Ooh. future. Yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll work, work something out. out. We we know a guy. I'm just saying. Do you it. Know? Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> we know a guy. Do it. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you came on, man. Thank you guys awesome. very much I for having me. I feel like I learned this a lot too in indie movies and like how you. Well, where can things. where can people like follow you and what uh, you're doing? Facebook, BJ Raniac, man, that's me. You got a rainy day production uh, page, right? Uh, so rainyday.com, spelled like my last name though, so that's the play on words. It's uh, R, R A Y N I. Check it out. Check it fucking out. <laughs> yeah. This dude's doing fucking. I'm, I'm big, so fucking proud of you, man. Like for real, dude. Like. 
I haven't seen you in so long. It was great to get together. And it's been like over a decade. It's easily been over a decade. For sure, and A man. decade goes by like that. You know what I mean? It's so fast. It's crazy. And but I always knew you as like the, the cool nerd. That's what I know you as. <laughs> I'll take that. I'm right? cool on a nerd. t-shirt. That's cool. <laughs> right? I mean... You, Pound sign the cool nerd. You were like the dude that was in the comic books was a, you know, a bet uh, for this area. Badass skateboarder. You. Yeah. Right? Oh, Made me get into my first half pipe and I bit shit, but. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> hey, he gave you that we'll nudge you needed. That. Still proud of you. Co- See? Thanks, bro. You, Thanks, bro. you, didn't, you bro. did not give up. You we're going to make, we're gonna make that middle aged Wolverine movie, don't you worry. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> about this. I am. And, New and, Balance and Corvettes. <laughs> we, we will talk more about the TLS movie, Twin Lakes yes. Snakes movie. It'll be a, it'll be a classic. You look All ridiculous, right. that thing on your head. For Jeff, you for Frankie, and for our boy BJ Radiac. Thank you all for listening this week. And uh, come back again Wednesday. <laughs> we'll have more. From movie the review. Time. Yeah, we don't even know what movie we're doing. All right, all right. We'll see you next week.